having you there too. Anybody cold? <laughs> <laughs> Taking a photo? No, you're not. <laughs> An old uh, client of mine called these. said I should call these documentation days, where I just film and that's it. I like that. I like that idea. Sam and I were at a wedding, and uh, it was great. It was a really nice wedding. It was a really nice uh, ceremony. Really nice reception. I have so many thoughts though about how like so, like I feel like it's more common or more and more common to go to weddings now that aren't necessarily religious based you know but they still have a lot of the you know the traditional ceremonies that are based on sort of like religious traditions and aspects and things like that but when you take away a lot of that uh, religious uh, you know structure I guess you're left with just sort of traditional things which is totally fine but I find so many people are, you know, just in my line of work, I come across so many people who are afraid of public speaking. And it's a very common, very, very common thing. People don't like to public speak, whether it's in front of a crowd or just being put on the spot in the moment, you know, like, hey, do your impression of this person or on camera. And I, wedding ceremonies is kind of the same thing and I just see people who are looking for this day to be incredibly special and they have a lot of money invested into it and there's a lot of emotional meaning involved but there's this like looming distraction of something that's a public speaking you know based around public speaking and they go up and say your vows and you know I'm not speaking for every person it's all different but I just wonder now that we're sort of in an age where a lot of weddings aren't necessarily based around religion, but more of ceremonial. It would be not, you know, is there a possibility for some freedom to change the performance, if you will, you know, uh, to change how the ceremony goes down. And the, what I, what to me is glaring is like, you know, this, exchanging your vows is a very intimate thing with your partner. And the aspect of all these eyes being on you, I, I think, you know, if I put myself in their shoes, takes a, everyone watching you takes away from some of that intimacy, some of that, like, important special thing. So I wonder if there's maybe a way where uh, they could do that in private, but still, have, you know, still make it, like, c cinematic, if you will. You know, like, I was thinking if, if they were almost, you know, behind a curtain, saying their vows and their little special moment and there is a backlight, and so you can see a silhouette, and you played some music. That's just one idea. I think there's like a billion different ways to, to choose it, but I'd be interested to see or hear um, people's responses to that, because I know people have different emotions and feelings behind the idea of going up and saying your vows, or even, you know, like saying a speech, you know, is, is a lot. And I don't necessarily think you need those things if you're not necessarily looking to do a traditional religious-based wedding. Um, if, you, if you take the religion out of it, you really are bound by what, what rules, you know, societally, which... Yeah, it, I, th I think if like, you know, in a, in a weird, if I could put myself in a weird like wedding planner simulation, I would have a lot of, a lot of um, fun, maybe creating different sort of like emotional roller coasters for what is an audience of people, you know?